So I'm here with Sarah Ori, and we are at Portland Nursery on Stark Street. And Sarah, you know, as I look around, there is so many beautiful, beautiful plants. And that got me to thinking. There's a lot of great edible plants that are also very beautiful that we can step outside of our comfort zone and put them in a yard. And you were telling me about your new vegetable garden. Tell yes. me that story again. Yeah, so I'm ripping out a lot of things at home, starting on a blank slate, put in some vegetable beds, and I really wanted some artichokes um, and some blueberries. Uh -huh. And I was thinking, well, they're so big, I, they're just not gonna fit. And it took me a, a few months, actually, to, <laughs> to say, you know what, I can put those in the front yard. Yeah. And, and they're beautiful. They have yeah. the fall color and big structure. And the, you so know, the you idea the that we have to have a rhododendron in a flower bed and a blueberry shrub in an edible area, vegetable bed type thing, really that, that no longer exists, does it? No, it really doesn't. And it's a huge trend to have right. edibles in the landscape. And this, for example, is a uh, sunshine blue blueberry. Uh, it's evergreen, uh -huh. so it keeps its leaves. Uh, has beautiful red fall color, you know, and then um, even if it wasn't an evergreen blueberry, a lot of them have such beautiful stem color that it's they true. add, you know, red um, uh, vertical structure to yeah. your garden. Well, and look at the blooms on this. Even the blooms alone are worth it without the berries, yeah. but then you get the berries. You do, <laughs> and I've, there is no color like a blueberry bud. Um, it's one, I think it's a staple for every yard. It really is. And yeah. now you can put them anywhere or even in containers, a lot of them yep. too. Mm -hmm. So another thing that I really find interesting is this Lanicera. Now Lanicera's are honeysuckles, mm -hmm. but this one you can actually eat. You can, it's a honey berry. And um, we've got some mixed results, I think, dif um, depending on the different varieties yeah. and maybe how they're growing. But um, some of them can be good for fresh eating and others you might want to put into a preserve where you're adding a little bit of sugar or something. I know it says honeyberry, it know, sounds right? so sweet, <laughs> but... Um, well, and there's yeah. so much work going on with them. I, a lot of work in like uh, OSU is doing work with breeding them. Mm -hmm. Russia does a lot of work with them. So clearly this is an up and coming vine that is going to be probably really delicious in no time and a lot of things you can do with it. Yeah, we're definitely see it growing in popularity. Yeah. Now, I love this tiny little thing here and this is really this has been sold for so long as just a, a landscape plant, but also, mm -hmm. again, edible berries. Yeah, it has, and it's evergreen. Again, it's got these cute little bell flowers. This is a, a lingonberry, and um, you can eat it fresh as well, and you can preserve it. And so, yeah, we've been selling it um, just because it's pretty, and yeah. now more and more people are, are realizing that some of those more unique berries are, are edible and delicious. And why wouldn't you want a small little hedge by a, a sidewalk that you can also eat the berries from as well? So mm -hmm. it, it works well on so many levels. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I remember when I first moved to Oregon many, many years ago, I was delighted that there were certain kiwis that were hardy here. Yep. Now we know that there's a lot and yeah. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Tell me about it. This is, and so this is going to get really big. This is going to get about 20 feet but it will be a vine so if you have you know under maybe a, a raised patio or something that it could grow up it's going to be absolutely beautiful puts on beautiful flowers um, this one is um, self-pollinating hardy kiwi nice. so it's a, like a grape sized fruit um, maybe a little bit longer uh, you can eat it just eat it like a grape and they're delicious they are they are <laughs> actually they're one of my favorites and if you have the room i I highly recommend planting one. Now this this strappy little chap next to us here, I, tell me about it because I, I love mulberries and, and you have a great selection of them here so let's talk about that a bit. Thank you, yeah this is one of the smaller ones that we do have. We've got some bigger trees as well but um, this one, although it can make a real mess they, when... They can be messy, but they're so delicious. <laughs> yeah, when the fruit's <laughs> dropping uh, um, and when you're eating them. But um, this one is a really great underused tree and edible. And you were saying you use them in margaritas. Oh, yes, I do. I have been known to freeze the crop. Because yes. they're so... They, they tend to get ready a lot, like real quick. Mm -hmm. And no matter how much I ate, I couldn't eat them all. <laughs> and so I would freeze them and then I could make margaritas later on in the summer with them, which were delicious. And too, they have, they're a beautiful tree for shade as well, mm -hmm. which I think we miss. But then, of course, if you have a table under there, it's covered in yeah. berries. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just a, a really a very brief selection of stuff that you guys carry. Oh, though, there isn't are it? so many. I mean, we tried to kind of pick some of the non staple that people hadn't heard of, but I mean, so many different herbs, um, lettuce greens, um, small fruit bushes, yeah. berries, trees. I mean, even just, you know, your regular apple, cherry trees, those have 
beautiful um, ornamental qualities. Yeah. Um, there's so many, and it's it's really a growing. Um, it's a real growing idea. field of, of excitement for yeah. people to be able to grow their own food, which we used to do in America 100 years ago all the <laughs> yes, time. So it's did. it's a nice return to those values. Well, you know, here at Portland Nursery, they have a great selection of, of everything. So don't ever discount edibles because they can work all through your garden. So whether you're looking for um, seed to tree, you can certainly come to uh, either Portland Nursery, talk to the great staff and pick up some wonderful things for your own yard that you can eat later on in the year. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sarah. Thanks.